In this tutorial, we're going to add human mobility and vaccination into the epidemic model. We have seen many countries and states issued travel restrictions. Can human mobility affect the epidemic? Let's see. It only takes two steps to include human mobility in this simulation. First, in the move procedure, we change forward one to forward mobility. Then we create a slider for mobility. Very easy, right? Now we can collect data to compare different mobility levels. The best way to control an epidemic is vaccination. But how vaccination help control epidemic? How many people need to be vaccinated? Let's add this factor into the simulation. We will create a vaccination procedure. In this procedure, we first count how many susceptible people we have in the simulation. And then we give this number to a variable called number of susceptible. And then we use this number of susceptible to calculate how many people can be vaccinated based on the vaccination rate. Here we have to multiply 0 0.01 because vaccination rate um, is defined by the integer. So we need to turn that into the percentage. Finally, when we find out how many people need to be vaccinated based on the vaccination rate, we will ask this many people turn to blue, meaning they are immune. Then we go to the interface tab, we add the vaccination rate slide. And also we create a button for the vaccination procedure so that we can separate this procedure from other procedures. Now we add vaccination into this simulation. We can collect data to compare how different level of vaccination can influence the epidemic. Congratulations! You have created an epidemic model that contains a variety of factors. In next tutorial, we're going to collect data from the simulation and analyze the data. See you there.